Hello everyone. Welcome to the last YouTube session for SST. All of you a very warm welcome and a very good evening to y'all. How are y'all? How are y'all? Hi Palak, Muskan, Yash, Sagar, Motolife, Rumi, Swayam, Jyoti. How are y'all? How was your evening? It's absolutely fine, Rumi, even if it's the last class. Our Merit Nation is always there for the help. Okay, it's not only for SST, but for your other subjects as well. Hi, Palak, Nishan, Devkan. I'll also miss you all a lot. You're a good batch of students. Hi, Raja, Kavya. So, hi, Vaishnavi. So, how was your evening? How was your day? Some of you all are having a practicals from tomorrow as I've read your chat. So all the best for it. Okay, don't be sad. See, meditation's immense help will always be there. Okay, we are always there to help you and guide you for your examinations related to any academic query or doubts that you have. Fine? Okay, so excited for today's session. It's a very nice one. Uh, after this, we will also have the score 90 session. I think all of you know about that, about the score 90 session, score 90 plus session. Hi, Mehel. Kavya, you have your SST pre-board exam. I wish you all the best. And others who have done, who are done with your SST paper, I hope it went well. And for your other subjects as well. Fine. Please study. This is time for revision. Work on your weak points. It will really help you a lot. Once you get the marks, the answer scripts for your pre boards try and work on your weak points. Okay. For y'all, some for some of y'all from SST history might be a weak point. For some geography might be a weak point. Fine. So work on it. Numericals, as I've already mentioned, for your maths and science, please practice. Okay, uh, so I'm, we will have another session, okay, score 90 plus for you all. So I will, in that session, I'll give you tips and tricks how to prepare for your examination. Okay, so we'll have it for different subjects as well. SST is on 22nd Feb. Right? Vaishnavi, do not worry. I'll try and wrap up all the points of maps today. Fine? And plus, there is a link given in the description okay if you press the option show more there is a link for all the map videos which is available on our light site okay hi navneet Chal. now let us start off with today's session so today's session is entirely dedicated for your maps fine is dedicated for nothing else but the topic on maths wait a second Fine. So first, we will cover with all the important topics on the maps. Fine. All the important topics. So from history, which chapter is going to come? Which chapter is going to come from history? Come on, tell me. It is none other than nationalism in India. No, Swayam, it will happen in YouTube itself. Okay, 22nd Feb. Fine. Okay, very good. So it's only nationalism in India from history. Some of the important topics that we have under nationalism in history. First are your INC sessions. Okay, there are different INC sessions that is important. I have just mentioned few of them. Fine. For example, the Calcutta session of 1920, the Nagpur session of 1920, the Madras session of 1927, the Lahore session of 1929. These are just few of the important session itself. Okay. Then coming to the important centers of Indian national movement. I think most of you know about them. The importance of it. Yes or no? Movement of indigo planters. Where did it take place? Champaran. Okay, peasant satyagraha, Khera. Cotton meal workers satyagraha, Ahmedabad. Jalanwala Bagh massacre, Amritsar. Calling of the non cooperation movement, where did it take place? Chauri Chaura in UP. 
and lastly your salt march the dandi march or your civil disobedience movement it took place in the coastal state of dandi fine see students your the intimation will be sent to you okay you will get the notification about the score 90 plus so now please focus here focus on today's session it's on 22nd feb i have already mentioned it to you fine so just go through the website of meditation you'll come to know fine okay so these are the important topics from your map portion okay from history and how many marks are going to come two marks are going to come from history as your map fine now coming to geography the first chapter we have is resources and development in resources and development the only map type you have are the types of soil okay the different types of soil that we have is your alluvial soil arid black laterite red and yellow and your forest soil these are the six types of important soil from the chapter resources and development okay then next we have water resources in water resources you need to know the important dams or the multi purpose projects multi purpose river valley projects you have the bhakra nangal dam the hirakud nagarjuna dam tungra bhadra salal etc coming to your agriculture agriculture you need to know the major food crops okay rice wheat maize then your cash crops you have your sugarcane tea coffee cotton etc these are the important map points fine okay now coming to the next chapters from geography minerals and energy resources we have the topics under minerals and energy resources you have the iron ore mines for example bellary durga bellary durg zones mica mines which you have then the coal mines which you have oil fields okay in dig boy ankleshwar thermal and nuclear power plants fine okay then next we have from the chapter manufacturing industries fine industry so here we'll only talk about the different types of industries the cotton textile industries in mumbai surat iron and steel plants in durgapur rorkela then the software technology parks in mohali noida pune jaipur etc fine coming to the last chapter of geography lifelines of national economy fine here you need to know the golden quadrilateral yes the north south east west which connects fine uh, then sorry the north south corridor east west corridor golden quadrilateral is which connects the four metro cities then you have the sea ports kanla mamagao etc the international airports that we have fine so these are the important topics from history as well as geography from geography map point is coming for three marks okay fine any problem any problem tell me okay chal now i have created the list i have already given it to you now i will show you the maps fine now i will show you the maps which is going to be helpful for you okay fine see students i am not going to set the board papers for you all i can tell you the possible questions which might come but which is the exact question of course i can't tell you yes or no golden quadrilateral is the national development uh, development project that we have which connects the four metro cities delhi mumbai your chennai and kolkata and back to delhi okay fine so the first one is your nationalism in india the important centers of national movement okay so the first center we have amritsar why have i marked amritsar here why did i mark amritsar tell me what is the importance of amritsar which event took place which event took place in amritsar come on tell me very good d jallianwala bag massacre okay jallianwala bag 
massacre took place in Amritsar. Fine. Then we have Chauri Chora. Chauri Chora, why is it important? Come on, tell me Chauri Chora, the importance of Chauri Chora. Very good, Swam. Uh, Amritsar, the Jalanwala Bagh massacre took place in 1919. Very good. Tell me, come on quickly, Chauri Chora. Very good. <coughs> because of the attack on the police station, the non cooperation movement was called off. Okay. Champaran Bihar. Champaran Bihar. Why is it important? Why is Champaran Bihar important? Because of the indigo revolution. Very good. Like the uh, planters who were against the indigo plantation. Yes or no? Indigo plantation. Fine. I'm just writing the abbreviations for you all. Fine. Then Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad. What happened here? The cotton mill workers Satyagraha took place. Okay. Dandi, why is it famous? Because of the salt march. Okay. Amritsar, Jalanwala Bagh massacre. Champaran was for the indigo planters. Champ uh, Chauri Chaura was calling off the non-cooperation movement. Ahmedabad, cotton mill worker Satyagraha. Lastly, Dandi is your salt march. Okay. I hope the first map is clear to you. Now, coming to the second map from Nationalism in India, here I have marked few of the important INC sessions that have taken place. Okay, so I have mentioned Lahore. Okay, the Lahore session of 1929, the Calcutta session of 1920, Nagpur session of 1920. Belgao session of 1924, Madras session of 1927, and Bombay session of 1885. Okay, these are few of the important maps that we have from your INC session. Okay, and students be very precise when you mark it. Okay, for example, if you have to mark Nagpur, now don't go and mark it in MP. I think you all should know where is Nagpur. Nagpur is a city of Maharashtra. Yes or no? Nagpur is a city of Maharashtra. So don't get confused and mark it in Madhya Pradesh. Okay? Please know the state boundaries. Okay? Know the state boundaries very well. Where is Calcutta located? Where is Bombay? Is near to the boundary of your bomb, uh, the Singh Maharashtra. Yes or no? Then Calcutta is towards the south side of West Bengal. Fine. Okay. No, Vaishnavi Kanpur is in UP. It's not in Maharashtra. Kanpur is a city in UP. Fine. So another session here is your Kanpur session. Fine? Clear? Okay. Now coming to the resources and development. The first map that we have, the only map we have is the types of soil. Yes, I had already told you that there are six types of soil. Okay, how many types of soil do we have? We have six types of soil. It's mentioned here in this keynote box. Yes, we have the alluvial soil, the forest soil, red and yellow soil, laterite soil, the black soil, and lastly, arid soil. Okay, alluvial soil, come on, tell me. Alluvial soil is the most fertile soil. Okay, it is found in the northern plains. Yes or no? It is found in the northern plains. Tell me. No, Rima, you won't have. You. There will be political maps available for you all. Northern Plains. So you need to mark which are the states in the northern side which has fertile land. You can mark your Punjab, Haryana, UP and Bihar. 
okay you get your political maps in the first session only i had given you a paper pattern design there only i had mentioned it why will i get a physical map okay so for alluvial soil you need to mark punjab haryana up and bihar fine then next we have the forest soil so forest from its name itself you should come to know that the forest area fine the mountain area so which are the main mountain regions that we have in india it is your jammu and kashmir your himachal pradesh and your uttarakhand okay uk do not get confused with united kingdom it is your united uh, sorry it's not united kingdom it is uttarakhand okay forest soil now coming to the red and yellow soil which is found towards the east and southern side east south side you can say fine so chatisgarh orissa and telangana fine okay so i am i have been marked all the regions fine that's the uh, that's actually the reason here fine i have marked only three and four states of course you can mark northeastern regions also for that matter for your forest soil area okay for your knowledge itself i thought ki it's better you all will remember here fine okay so as i was talking about the red and yellow soil it is found in telangana orissa and your chatisgarh clear all of you okay coming to the laterite soil where is laterite soil found it is not totally found in a proper state okay where you need to shade the whole states fine you need to mark the coastal strips of karnataka and kerala okay karnataka and the coastal strips can you see the blue shading portion the coastal strips of karnataka and kerala okay nishant it is given in the cbsc guidelines it's your wish you want to prepare for it you can prepare if you don't want to prepare it's okay it's up to you fine then coming to black soil it is found in central india very easy to remember mp and maharashtra okay black soil is very good for the growth of cotton lastly arid soil arid soil from the name itself you can come to know yes or no arid means something which is very dry and desert it is found in rajasthan and in some areas of gujarat clear so this is the map from your resources and development that is the different types of soil fine now coming to the multi purpose river valley projects or the different dams that we have so what i have done is that i have broken the map of india and divided it into three portions okay the northern the central fine and the peninsula region clear okay so this is how i have divided it so i have three slides for it fine northern this is the central and this is the peninsula region fine so coming to your first one okay in the northern region some of the important dams that is there or the multi river multi purpose river valley projects is your salal project okay salal project on the river indus you can say fine then we have the bhakra nangal dam fine these are some of the important ones and apart from this i have also marked your chamera malakan etc fine okay clear all of you now coming to the next one in the central region okay in the central region you have the kota barrage okay fine that is in rajasthan then you have the rana pratap singh fine then you have panchet you have rihan etc fine these are some of the important dams in the central india coming next to the peninsular region you have the hirakud dam the nagarjuna the tungabhadra metur periyar koina etc 
fine clear tehri dam is also there so i'm yes absolutely you are correct fine okay clear see you need to know the outline isn't it you need to know that one dam is where which states which river is it being shared with okay clear all of you just closing your eyes you just cannot mark isn't it now if, if hirakud comes are you going to mark hirakud in place of bhakra nangal of course not isn't it that's why we have a proper map video for it fine please go through the map based videos that we have on our site it will be really helpful in half an hour of course i cannot cover everything clear now coming to the chapter agriculture we have the major rice producing states okay major rice producing states we have punjab haryana up assam west bengal etc fine okay clear all of you you need to know see if there is a dam which is being shared between jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh okay so you need to mark it in the border of both of them clear all of you fine okay so this is a map for your major rice producing states then we have wheat wheat is the staple food of north india so mark punjab haryana up bihar etc clear all of you then next we have major rubber producing states you can mark karnataka you can mark your tamil nadu and kerala okay it is in the southern region fine then next we have is your major cotton producing states remember related to black soil mp maharashtra apart from that keep in mind about up etc regions clear then coming next we have is your okay, just a moment okay okay just a second i need to change the slide okay next we have jute jute is related towards the eastern side we all know hugli basin is the most fertile region for the production of jute so remember to mark west bengal and the surrounding areas you can mark assam bihar etc okay coming to the next one we have maize producing states up bihar karnataka andhra pradesh okay fine no there is no choice manpreet okay identification and location see identification generally comes from uh, this thing uh, history and location comes from geography okay fine then next we have the major pulses producing states in the northern side you can mark up then west you have rajasthan central mp maharashtra etc fine then next we have the sugarcane producing states sugarcane in the northern india we have punjab haryana up okay punjab haryana up then you can also take a look at the southern region maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh okay then next we have the major tea producing states fine so in major tea producing states we have assam all of us know darjeeling in west bengal fine then you can also mention about tamil nadu and kerala coming to the next map we have coffee coffee is in the western region yes or no fine so it's your karnataka tamil nadu and kerala this is easy to remember coffee in the western uh, this thing a uh, western region and your tea will be in the eastern region fine then next we have bajra producing states this is extra information which i'm giving you for bajra remember rajasthan up haryana okay do one thing you know you can make a chart 
हरियाणा इज कॉमन फॉर विच विच क्रॉप फाइन यूपी इज कॉमन फॉर विच क्रॉप राजस्थान इज कॉमन फॉर विच क्रॉप दैट वे ऑल्सो इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू ऑल टू रिमेंबर फाइन देन वी कम टू मिनरल्स एंड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज डी आयरन और फील्ड डेट वी हैव फाइन सो वी हैव दी आयरन और बेल्ट कैन यू सी the yellow color so it's the iron ore belt which is clustered with too many iron ore mines fine so we have the first one here yes so this is your gaya singbhum mayurbhuj yes then next we have durg chandrapur and then we have the bellary chitradurga region okay this are your iron ore belts and iron ore mines then next we have the coal fields some of the important coal fields we have in the eastern region okay in the eastern region we have jharia we have bokaro talcher korba yes or no we have the wardha valley singreni etc okay these are few of the important coal fields coal fields generally remember the eastern areas fine then next the oil fields that we have can you see the different oil fields we have digboy in assam fine then we have kalol in gujarat yes or no then we have nahar kotia in assam again then we have the oil refinery which is existing fine where do we have it in bongaigaon in assam we have it jamnagar in gujarat then we also have the oil field ankleshwar ankleshwar and digboy are two important oil fields that we have okay fine then other oil refinery existing mangalore kochi chennai etc fine okay next we have the thermal power plants there are different thermal power plants that we have Baroni in Bihar, Singroli we have in Madhya Pradesh, Talcher we have in Orissa, Durgapur in West Bengal, Namrup in Assam. Okay. Then the next one is your nuclear power plants. There are only six new new uh nuclear power plants here. The important ones: Narora in UP, Rawalpindi in Rajasthan, Kakrapar in Gujarat. Tarapur in Maharashtra, Kaiga in Karnataka, and Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu. Okay, these are few of the important nuclear power plants that we have. Then other minerals. Okay, here the list is given for other minerals. Can you see this red circle is for copper? Plus sign is for bauxite. Triangle is for mica. Square yellow is for manganese. Cross red is for lead. so copper you can find in khetri alwar in rajasthan yes this is for your copper fine then bauxite you can find in katni in bilaspur in korapat etc this is blue is for your bauxite fine mica gaya hazaribagh okay easy then we have the manganese manganese you can come to us the western side yes in goa shimoga bellary in karnataka this is your manganese fine and lead velour we have fine then we have in north arcot in tamil nadu this is for your lead clear all of you fine then next we have the agro based industries this is also clubbed in the same map cotton woolen silk and jute industries jute is very easy in the kolkata in the hugli basin fine then cotton kanpur gwalior ahmedabad easy woolen industries shrinagar amritsar ludhiana fine then silk you have kanpur banaras and lastly jute i have already mentioned this to you okay coming to the next map iron and steel plants this is easy rorkela we have bhilai we have bhadravati bokaro etc fine 
please i am telling you maps is very important i know there are number of maps but please go through the previous years question papers sample papers you'd come to know the trend which are the questions which are coming okay fine then next we have the software technology park so many software technology here you can also remember in this way find the metro cities kolkata mumbai chennai you can remember in delhi noida four is enough okay then next lastly lifelines of national economy na national highway development projects yes you all were asking me isn't it so east west corridor is the green one which connects silchar to porbandar yes or no this is your east west corridor connecting silchar in assam to porbandar in gujarat then we have the north south corridor which connects shrinagar to kanya kumari okay and the golden quadrilateral which connects the four metro cities okay four metro cities you can see here it's connecting kolkata yes then is connecting delhi mumbai chennai again back to kolkata fine then next we have the major pipelines that we have okay three important pipelines we have discussed already i think so yes or no jagdishpur was one of them yes hazira jagdishpur remember we have one digboy to salaya yes digboy to kanpur we have jalandhar to salaya is another one digboy to kanpur jalandhar to salaya then jagdishpur to hazira okay hvj pipelines very good fine then coming next one is your major sea ports that we have fine so it is of course going to be towards the water bodies which we have kandla in gujarat kolkata in west bengal yes or no paradeep in orissa visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh then we have tutikorin in tamil nadu kochi in uh, this thing kerala marmagao in goa fine then next we have the national and international airports as well see i don't know whether only international airports are going to come or your national airports are going to come so i have clubbed them both in the same map itself international some of the important ones is your delhi indira gandhi international airport amritsar raja sansi yes that is important one then we have uh, this thing hyderabad bangalore we have it mumbai also we have it fine domestic patna jaipur pune raipur etc fine and we are coming to the end of the session please please it's a request to all of you that go click on the link fine you will get the map based videos for that and it's really going to be helpful for you all trust me okay log into our site and please go through the videos and don't forget to download the top 20 map questions the link is given below fine i have already told you in yesterday session also in half an hour you cannot try and finish finish off everything fine so i tried my best to give you knowledge about the important map topics clear okay fine so i shall meet you on 22nd in score 90 score plus 90 plus score session by sst you will get the notification if you go through the merit nation uh, this thing page as well fine i hope so the sessions for sst as well as the other subjects were helpful for you all fine please take care of yourself eat healthy food sleep enjoy your leisure time focus on studies don't divert your mind okay study focus on it revise keep on revising try and solve as many as sample papers you can okay board examination after like see after this period then you will get a nice holiday of course there will be tension before the results and then which stream you are going to take everything but then enjoy this period seriously i'm telling you 
focus on studies you know it's really important and helpful okay don't think it's something to be negative and terrifying because examination will always be a part and parcel of your life okay fine so all of you take care of yourself i shall meet you very soon okay till then enter and attend the other sessions for your maths and science as well and wait for the score 90 plus sessions okay bye bye all of you take care enjoy your evening good luck all the best best of luck okay study well bye bye